Um, hi, Rob. Um, many thanks for the introduction, and I'm so happy here that I can share the share my work with you. And today, my topic is about what model young recognition of Chinese operas with hybrid fusion. And this is today's online. And this, so, before the start, I want to give some brief introduction of the Chinese operas. And usually, we would utilize the Chinese opera to denote. For example, Beijing Opera, and basically it is the liberal translation. And however, from the perspective of performing arts or context, Chinese Xiju is a little bit from the definition of the Western operas. And here, for simplicity, we still use the Chinese opera to denote Xiju. And Chinese opera has a long history, and which can be traced to 800 BC. And it is known as the world's three primary Asian theater cultures, along with the Greek tragedies and comedies and Indian Sanskrit dramas. And with the long-term development, Chinese opera has combined music, dancing, acrobatics, martial arts, and many other performing arts to create a unique performing art through singing, speaking, acting, and acrobatic fighting to interpret the folk stories to the audience. And according to the records, Chinese opera was originated from the pre chen period. And in this budding period, a typical performing art is that the actor, named, named as pyramidist, would talk and act comically to amuse the audience. And some of the performances would be held in the palaces with the bureaucrats as the audience. And Chinese opera was further developed during Song and Jin dynasty. And during that time, Nanxi was created, and which was regarded as the first and more, complete, more developed operatic form in the history of Chinese opera. And in terms of the structure, Nanxi became more complete, and performers started to narrate the story in the form of singing, talking, and dancing. And in Yuan Dynasty, a new form was created, and, which, and the name of which is Daju. And usually, Daju would be performed by several actors and was composed of two or three acts. And the emergence of Daju marked the development of Chinese opera was in a mature period. And in Yuan Dynasty, which in the performance of opera has become a popular and common custom of the folk. And since then, Chinese opera has merged into people's lives and become an important component of the traditional culture. And after the long-term development and the evolution, and Chinese opera becomes prosperous and which benefits from the stable political environment and the developed economy. And in the late Ming Dynasty, scholars become unsatisfied with the corrupt politics, and they start to participate in the creation of the operas, and which also promote the development of the operas. And move on to the Qin Dynasty, a new opera genre was created in Beijing, and which is the Beijing Opera, and also brought, bring Chinese opera to a new and higher stage. And in the contemporary uh, opera, as a living cultural heritage, and is, it is still evolving. To adapt the con contemporary and aesthetic, the artists are reforming and innovating the performing form to maintain the vitality and attraction to derive the better development. And also in 2001, the country opera was listed as the world-level intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO, and which also made the public and the government aware of the value and importance of the traditional opera. And accordingly, more resources and fundings are put into the development, uh, are put into the development and the preservation of the operas. And however, operas still face a lot of a lot of challenges in the inheritance and the development. And for example, the young generations are gradually losing the interest of the opera, and the performing market is uh, is shrinking, especially during the COVID-19. A lot of theaters are closed, and which all have the great impact of the sustainable development of the opera. A uh, uh, good thing is that we start to take some corresponding actions and, for example, bring the opera to the campus to make it um, more visible and closer to the young people. And the image is about the country week in the Nanjing University campus. And so the above, uh, so the above is the basic introduction of the Chinese opera. And today our topic is about the automatic recognition of the young roles of Chinese operas. And after the long-term development and the evolution, over 300 genres were existed based on the census results conducted by the Ministry of, of Culture in 2005. Aside from the well-known operas, such as the Beijing Opera or Kun Opera, there are some famous genres in some areas, for example, the Yue Opera, and which are popular in Shanghai and Zhejiang City. 
uh, and Jing Opera was popular in Shanxi and Yu Opera. And in these operas and the same form, every music, instrument, and the lyrics are very different, and which also make each of them as the independent genre. Then we would ask, why do we need to recognize the genre of the operas? And in the contemporary, listening to the operas in the music platform is still a popular way among the young and old people. And due to the support of the government and public's attention, and Chinese opera was in, is in a new stage with high development. And the cre creative enthusiasm is tremendous, tremendously in, uh, motivated, and more and more works of the Chinese opera with different genres are produced. And however, however, it is still very hard for the public without the rich knowledge of the opera to recognize the genre correctly. So assuming the scenario where people hear the opera from the music platform, however, the, pla the platform only provides the name without the information of the genre, and which, and which is not beneficial for the listeners who want to have a deep experience of the genre that the work belongs to. So therefore, we utilizing an effective model to recognize the genres automatically is necessary and important, and which is also beneficial for the broadcast and the sustainable development of Chinese operas. So our research problem is how to design an effective model to recognize the genre of the Chinese operas effectively. So the, the documentation of the operas can be audios or videos, and based on the research scenarios, and we focus on the audio of the operas in this work. And here we expand our scope to the genre recognition of the audience, such as the music genre recognition, and not limited in the opera. And in essence, audio is the multimodal data, and it, it can be seen as a combination of the lyrics and acoustic signals. And the related researches can be divided into unimodal-based and multimodal-based. And in the unimodal-based study, studies, and researchers constructed the model to recognize the genre of the audio based on the texture semantics or the acoustic features. And however, if, you, if we only take the audios or lyric-based methods to recognize the genre and the auxiliary and the complementary semantics information, will be ignored. And in the multimodal research, and the information, the lyrics and the audios are utilized simultaneously and can provide more representative features. And which, uh, but also, which require, require us to provide the complete multimodal information. And currently, studies oriented to the genre recognition of the operas are uh, mainly are unimodal and uh, which are based on the acoustic features. So therefore, in this work, we try to integrate the lyric and acoustic features as the representation of the operas to classify the genres. And usually, lyrics of the operas um, are, are provided by the label and which can guarantee the quality and precision of the lyrics. But in real scenarios, the situation that the lyrics of the operas are missing is common. So if we utilize the common used API to transform the audios to the lyrics directly, and the performance is very bad, and the meanings of the operas will be changed completely. So due to the unique scene characteristics and areas of the Chinese operas, and therefore we wonder whether it is possible to build a unified model to recognize the genre of the Chinese operas with the modern model information and tackle the problem of the missing modality. And here we define our task and given the audio clip of the opera and predict the genre of the audio integrating the texture and acoustic features. And this image is um, our proposed model MGR, HF, which is the model model genre recognition with hybrid fusion, and which mainly consists of the model, model representation, contextual modeling, and hybrid fusion. And in the following, I will describe each part. And to make the model accept the lyrics of the traditional operas as the input, we first need to represent the lyric. And given that the quality of the representation of the lyric has a crucial impact on the following task. So pre-trained pre bird is selected to represent the lyrics to, of the traditional operas. And formally, given the lyric of the traditional opera and the extracted lyrical features of clip can be represented as, the, as that. And in this part, we need to we need to represent the audio, and usually a common used way is utilize the traditional handcrafted fe acoustic features such as the MFCC to represent the audio, but it suffers the risk of the losing acoustic information. And due to the strong capability in learning high-level semantic features from the images and convolutional neural network has been widely utilized to the 
computer vision tasks, and scholars notice its potential in capturing acoustic features from spectrogram generated from the audio and employed the extractive spectral features in multiple audio tasks, such as the speech recognition, sentiment, and classification, and compared with the traditional handcrafted acoustic features, the spectrum features extracted from the spectrogram generated from the audio have been, pro have been proved more robust and effective, and the spectrogram can reflect the acoustic features in vision, and a, an example of the spectrogram generated from the audio file of the opera is shown in this image. And here, the extracted spectral features are applied as the representation of the audio of the traditional opera. And specifically, we employ the outputs of the last fully connected layer in the IS net, mo IS net model pre trained on the image dataset to represent the spectral features. And the contextual information in the lyrics is important and which can provide the fundamental features of the understanding of the lyrics and also the key to capture intramodal interactions in lyrics. And all the bird can provide some contextual information learned from the huge corpus and we still need additional contextual information learned from the, cap, uh, learned from the lyrics, especially when dealing with the task in the specific domain. So here, a bio stem layer is employed to obtain the context of real features and generate the encoded representation. And when we derive the encoded texture and the spectrum features, and the next step is how to fuse the multimodal features. And usually, the multimodal fusion strategies can be categorized as early fusion, later fusion, intermediate fusion, and uh, hybrid fusion, and which are based on how and when the multimodal fusion is performed. And early fusion is also called as the feature level fusion. And by extracting the features of each modality and merging them at the, at the input level through the contamination and or average, and then we can derive the representation of the model model features. And then we can feed them into the classifier to recognize the error. And the late fusion, late, and late fusion also known as the decision level fusion, and it, it is performed on the results predict predicted from the different independent classifiers. And basically, you can select different optimal models for these modalities. And with the predicted results, you can adopt the weighted sum, average, major, major voting to decide the final label. And usually, intermediate fusion happens in the neural networks, and different model features are fused and operated inside a network. For example, the tensor fusion network cross-model mechanism. And a hybrid and hybrid fusion means utilizing different model model fusion techniques in the model. And in this work, we first utilize the different model, uh, we first utilize the intermediate fusion to fuse the texture and the spectrum features. And basically, a concatenation operation is utilized to integrate the texture and the spectrum features to generate the long vector as a model model feature. And then we can send the model model feature to a softmax layer to derive the uh, predict label. Uh, however, as aforementioned, there is a situation that in the real scenarios, the lyric and audio modality are not always complete. So there is the missing modality problem. So to solve that, we also adopt a decision level fusion step, uh, strategy. Um, we also construct two extra unimodal young recognition models, and which are the lyric and the uh, audio based. And the encoded texture features and the spectral features are input to the two independent softmax layers. And then we can derive the predict probabilities based on the lyric and the deep spectral features uh, respectively. And in the last slide, we can get the predict pre um, probabilities based on the mo uh, multiple, multiple model features. And then we can use the decision level fusion strategy to fuse the predict probabilities to generate the final predict label. And alpha, beta, gamma are the optimal weight parameters through the grid search method running from 0 to 1. And the searching step is 0 0.1, and the sum of all weights is 1. So if one modality is missing, we just need to set the corresponding weight to, uh, and the modern modality weight to 0, and which can help us to solve the missing modality problem. And uh, the next is the, oh, sorry, yeah, and that is the um, optimal weight combination in our work. And in this, paper, uh, in this paper, four nation-level Chinese opera genres are selected, and which are the Beijing Opera, Kong Opera, Real Opera, and uh, Jing Opera. 
And the four operas are the famous and popular operas in China. And the NetEase platform is chosen as the data source to create the audios and the lyrics of the four operas. And then we filter the data and segment the audios based on the sentences in the lyrics and uh, into several clips. And uh, in the sentence, and every sentence has a starting time and the ending time. So we utilize the starting time and the ending time to segment the audio. And lastly, the number distribution of the four operas is illustrated in the table, and the data set is, uh, is split into the training and testi uh, testing data set with the ratio of the 80 and 20 percent. And this is the experimental settings, and in this work, and we use the accuracy, precision, record, and F1 value as the uh, evaluation metrics. And here we also take some our strong baseline models for comparison, which are BERT, ISNet, Early Fusion, LSTM, and MGR. MGR is the variation of our proposal model without the decision level fusion. And the CNN is the standard convolutional, convolutional neural network architecture, and which is implemented to recognize the genre based on the spectral features. And uh, this is the experimental results, and it, it can be seen that MGR HF obtain the best results compared with the baseline models con considering the evaluated metrics and which also the effectiveness of our proposed model. And in addition, in comparison with the MGR, we find that the performance of our proposed model utilizing the hybrid fusion technique is better and which demonstrates its effectiveness in the young recognition of the Chinese operas. And also it can be observed that modern model fusion um, models has an advantage over the unimodal models and which also indicates that it, the integration of the texture and the spectral features can bring more semantic information and uh, boost the performance of the young recognition. And uh, in this work, the corpus we used is still not very big, so in the future we would like to add more genres and works uh, into the data set. In addition, we still need to do more case studies to demonstrate the, the performance of our proposed model. And the audio is the sequential data, and the, every word in the lyrics is corresponding with the clip with audio. And some of them are sound very differently and contain more semantic information. So in the future, we will try to align the, really, uh, try to align the lyric and the audio and, and to excavate the deep multimodal fusion interactions. And additionally, uh, the, large, the large lambda models is very hot today and has more prior knowledge such as the GPT and we also try to explore, want to, um, we also want to try to explore the modern model, large lambda model and to see how it goes in our work. And many thanks for your attention and many thanks for the support and the help from our DH team from the University of Bern. And many thanks.